Okay, so Tesla is going to have an event, uh, a battery and powertrain event, where they're going to announce some things. And we're hoping it's going to be the million mile battery, uh, which would be fantastic. And basically, a Canadian scientist and a team came up with a, a technique to use electrolytes and additives dissolved inside um, with, I believe there's more cobalt than normal, than in a normal Tesla battery. So it's going to be more expensive, first of all. Um, but yeah, a million miles. So right now, the battery in a Model 3, I believe, goes about between 300 to 500 miles. And a traditional ICE car uh, with a regular engine uh, goes about 150 miles. So right now, it's double uh, a regular engine. But now, if this is true, which it is, it seems there's a patent and scientists have worked on this thing, but supposedly it's going to go a million miles. So it's going to blow away double what the Model 3 could do right now. And I think 300 miles is more reasonable than uh, 500 right now. So I, three times what it could do, which is fantastic. And it would you know blow away a regular car with a traditional engine. So that means, you know, why would you buy a traditional car? So this could be groundbreaking. Uh, the stock could really respond like crazy uh, to this event. So I can't wait. They said early 2020, and it is early 2020. It's January 11th. Um, so very exciting news. This came out a, a while back, but we're getting close to um, an announcement for an event. So here's Elon Musk here. Uh, he says the Cybertruck is our last product unveiled for a while, but there will be some mostly unexpected technology announcements next year. Now, we expect it because we've heard rumors and there's the patent and people have talked about it. And now here's my theories on it. My predictions is because they're going to have to put more cobalt into the battery. Now, with cobalt, it's dangerous to mine. Certain countries use kids. Um, it's, you know, it's very expensive. It's rare. There's no more of it. So Tesla has been trying to get a, away from using cobalt, obviously. Um, so I believe it's going to add about $500 to $1,000 worth of cobalt to the million mile battery. Um, so I'm thinking it's going to be like Tesla, if we go to their website, I'll show you. Um, so, oh yeah, I was checking out this, the sem semi, but we'll get back to that in a second. Let's just go to tesla.com. And they have, a Cybertruck's a good uh, example of this. They have a good, better, best type structure to a lot of their cars. So if we go to order now, obviously there's, there's the three. Uh, you'll learn this stuff from Marcus Zemenis, Lemenis, something like that from The Prophet. But see how we've got the good single motor at a fantastic price. We've got the better, which is two motors. And then we've got the best, which is the tri-motor. So I'm thinking the million mile battery is going to be on this like third one. So it's going to be a lot more expensive. Uh, but to be able to go to a million miles, like the, it's, that's crazy. So the way these batteries work, is there's so many cycles like a, there's like a thousand cycles meaning you can charge it up to 100 and deplete it to zero and you can do that a thousand times now right now i believe with the batteries that are on the model three um by the time you get to that thousand thousandth one um you're at 50 percent capacity so you've you know that's the most it can do at that point now with these new batteries they're way better they can go up to four thousand and I think at a thousand on the million mile battery, it goes at 90, 95%. And then by the time you get to 4,000, uh, I forget the number, but it's like 80. So it, it's going to keep going. It's pretty fantastic. Um, so this is what I'm thinking. It'll be on the best models and it will add, you know, a thousand dollars to the price of it, um, which a lot of people I think would buy. I'd buy that one. Um, but where I think we're not going to see it on these first. We're gonna see it on the semis. So let's go to the semi page. This is, um, here's the, I think you have to type in tesla.com semi because it doesn't have it up here at the top. I could be wrong. Is there a way to get to the semis? 
Oh, uh, here it is here. Okay, so click semis, and this is this is where I think the million mile battery would do well because these guys, like truckers drive like 150,000 miles, 100,000 miles a year. So you could get, you know, 10 miles, so 10 miles, 10 years off the million mile battery. So th this is where, and the cost, the added cost of this would be nothing because how much are these things? Um, Founder series reservation is, I don't even know how much these things are. Um, so this is where we're gonna see it first, I believe. And then, then I'm thinking the Cybertruck, the best model, we might see it there. And then it may trickle down as uh, costs lower because, you know, um, you need people to bu buy lots of these things for the cost to come down. So those are my theories on that. Um, what do you guys think? Is this thing, even if it's like 500 mile battery and it's on the Model 3, um, like it would be fantastic. So yeah, there's lots of rumors about there's like carbon dioxide ones, but this lithium one, there's a patent and uh, yeah. So here is the semis as well. Here's, so these were where it would be. And you could, again, when you have a big truck like this, you could stack power walls on the back, on the back there and just like drive forever. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Okay, so there's a semi in the wild. Uh, but again, yeah, what do you guys think? So I think, so let's look at the stock price. So let's see, the, the all time high was just the other day. And it was, I think, 593 right here so 596 is the, the high here um, I've bought two more shares the other day I've got 29 shares um, it's been fantastic it's just been so good um, but I believe Tesla has so much good news coming they've got the Model Y that was announced in China and it's probably gonna be the best seller and you've got that going, you've got the million mile battery talk coming up. You've got all sorts of the power walls. I think this stock price is gonna keep going up and up and up. Um, Gene Munster, let's type that in. Gene Munster from CNBC. CNBC, um, Tesla, oh, it's right there already, okay. So he, I believe, I heard he said he's, it was going to go up to 900 bucks. Um, but let's see, go news, January 7th. Let's have a look at Gene. Gene's got the red phone on CNBC, if you ever watched that. Um, <laughs> Elon Musk is like the white man's dance. Uh, but hey, everything's going his way. So dance, Elon, dance. Um, all right. So see, all of these companies... It's still a low price target, even though we're, we're almost at $500. So people got to catch up here. So here's Gene Munster. So China is the largest ve electric vehicle market in the world, 60 to 70%. The average EV sells for about 15,000 US dollars and so well below Tesla's cheapest model, the Model 3. Now they've just lowered the price on that. So they're trying to you know fight against that, uh, fight against the competition. But I think the right analogy here is what's happened with Apple. Their China business right now is 17% of total Apple revenue. And right now, China for Tesla in the most recent reported quarter, the September quarter, was 11%. And so they're not going to hit the sweet spot of the China market. They're just too expensive. But I think if you start to put the pieces together and say that they can have, call it 17% of Tesla's business in China, you start to build a model out where you can grow their business at 20% year over year, I'm almost at my punchline here. If you do that, 20% growth for the next five years, they'll probably grow at 30% this year and put a 10% operating margin on that a few years out, which is debatable, but I think achievable. And a 30 multiple on that, you get to $150 billion. Now, I believe they're at 80-ish uh, right now. Let's go to the chart here. Da -da 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 -da. Go to uh, Tesla stock. There we go. What is the? Uh, we need the statistics here, financials. And where is it? So where is the market cap? Eighty-six billion dollars is their market cap, based on the stock price and how many shares are out, I believe. So where did we? 
Uh, did we lose our buddy here? There he is. Okay, so he's thinking it's going to almost double. So there's room, and this is over what, the next few years? So there's room, Gene Munster's saying, that Tesla's maintain their, call it 70% share in the US. That's gonna decline over time, no doubt. Uh, or is it? What about the Model, Model Y? It's probably gonna be the best-selling Tesla car of all time, because you've got more room than the Model 3. You got a lot of kids, uh, you need a lot of storage, you're gonna buy the Model Y. Um, a sedan versus a uh, crossover SUV. Okay, but we're talking about 450,000 vehicles this year in a market that's 90 million global. Uh, and so when I think about that road to a higher market cap, there's some asterisks there. CEO Elon Musk needs to continue to behave, which thank goodness he has. He hasn't been doing any crazy Twitter stuff recently, which I love. Um, I think the market, most importantly, I think their technology has this 10 year head start. See, that's very aggressive compared to most people. Most people say we've got they've got two to three year head start, but 10 years. So he's comparing it to Amazon Web Services that a lot of people ignored. Uh, but that is fundamental too, whether it's battery life or some of the visualization around autonomy uh, advancing the story. So if they can get robo taxis, um, that's where Elon's saying it's going. And these million mile batteries may have a lot to do with that vision and, and execution. Because if you have taxis, robo taxis, Tesla robo taxis driving around all the time, um, you know, you want the battery to last a million miles. It makes sense. This all fits into his plan. Um, now, again, they're not factoring in this million mile battery because, again, it hasn't really been announced. There's a patent. Uh, the Canadian uh, University released their uh, the formula for it to work, um, and they were working with Tesla. So they're not factoring that in. He's really not factoring in any robo taxi news. Um, so that market cap could go a lot bigger than what he thinks. But I believe he mentioned $900 on air that it could go to. It's, it's not going to go straight to $900, but it, it very well could. Uh, or who knows? Who knows? But I believe in Tesla. I'm bullish on Tesla. Um, I'm very excited. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this million mile battery? What do you think of Elon Musk's plan to do robo taxis? I want to know. Please comment below. Please like the video, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later, guys. Thanks so much for watching.